Hey everyone, Justin here, back again with another comic book haul. Um, this comic book haul video is coming to you pretty soon because I realized that uh, from my last video that I actually had another whole box of books that I did not show and they were part of the previous haul, the eBay haul. And uh, I don't know, it must have been so many books that I bought a new box and stacked the new books in and completely forgot about this new box. But anyway, I'm, I'm hoping, so I decided that I'm just going to make another haul video to show the rest of the books. Um, hope you guys enjoy. And again, if you like this video, do uh, give a thumbs up, do subscribe and do comment as well. We'd love to hear from you guys. So starting off, uh, I've managed to get three copies of Bloodshot number no. 6, which um, my memory is failing me, but I, I think it's the first appearance of Ninjak, or rather the first... Uh, yeah, his first appearance or something like that. So I managed to get three copies. I think I think they were about three bucks each, which is not too bad on considering I got this off eBay. I think. Uh, moving into some DC books, um, I've got No Man's Land uh, number zero, which is a pretty awesome cover. I can't remember the significance of this video, but yeah, just a nice cover. I've never really read the storyline for No Man's Land. So I would really like to check it out at some point. Um, but you know, the, the traits can be a little bit um, overwhelming. I think they have like four or five big traits and I'm not too sure if I can spare the time to read it. But anyway, so um, yesterday I showed, no, the last haul video, I mean, I showed um, Dr. Manhattan number four. This is, uh, this came with the whole, I bought this in a, in a batch. So it, I, it came with three copies of number one. Just really nice cover artwork by Adam Hughes. Moving on, we have Swamp Thing. It's just a run of an early run of Swamp Thing. Uh, this is just like I think just slightly after Alan Moore had left the series, but I got this whole um, stack of books because it came together and just because of number sixty-seven, which featured this a six-page pe special preview of Hellblazer. So I've been trying to read. Um, the Swamp Thing, uh, the saga of the Swamp Thing from when Alan Moore started um, writing Swamp Thing. Sorry, my my, my brains are uh, tired. So, um, yeah, I'm really enjoying the story. Uh, I just read book one that they came in the trade paperback, and uh, I'm gonna try and I think I'm gonna get really very hooked on Swamp Thing right now. But anyway, here's number sixty-seven, sixty-eight. 69, pretty nice, awesome artwork, and 70, and 71, alright, we just put this away first, moving on with some, um, some more DC books, so one of the few storylines, I think one of the better Superman storylines that we all know, uh, considered to be one of the classic ones is all star Superman and uh, I never really went ahead and got the whole series but you know this was up for sale so I decided to just buy the whole series and have a few copies of issues one two and three I'm gonna try and sell that off but here's issue one and if you have never read this storyline before I highly check highly recommend you check it out number three Artwork, the artwork is pretty awesome. It's number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. I really like the artwork. It's different and it really pops out. Number nine. Number 10 and number 11. I can't remember if this is the last issue in the series. I have to check that out. Um, if you want a quick introduction into this series, go and look for the animated series All Star Superman. They really follow very the artwork, the, anima the animation really follows very closely to the artwork, which I really like. Um, I don't like some of the DC animated stuff where they use the stock images like uh, I think the the new version of the death of Superman is coming out the the animated movie 
and it looks like they're using all the same designs from when they're presenting the new 52 uh, Justice League uh, new 50, 52 animated movie uh, a while back but I think when the, when when the animated series tries to copy the the artwork and and it, and it pulls it off very well then it makes for a really good series another good animated series that I highly recommend to check out is um, I think uh, The Return of Supergirl I can't remember the name really but it's The Return of Supergirl where, where they really follow Michael Turner's artwork very closely and it's pretty good the animated series doesn't have all the full storyline for obvious reasons because it's a pretty pretty long series but worth checking out so uh, moving along we have speaking about Michael Turner I have some uh, books from Supergirl that I, I bought this is a pretty awesome Michael Turner cover and well this is not Michael Turner but you know Yen Churchill he did uh, he is the artist for Cable a while back, for Cable second series. I think this, yep, Michael Turner. Michael Turner, I think. This is the one that's Michael Turner, very famous cover. Oh, there's Churchill on the cover as well. Number six. Number seven. Oh, and here's a loose Gen 13 cover. They're trying to find all the early Gen 13 issues. Because really, that's, that's really some good J. Scott Campbell artwork over there. Okay, and now to the for my last batch of DC books that I want to show you guys. Um, so I also got another all-star series all-star Batman and Robin with artwork by Jim Lee and the story is by Frank Miller so here's number one here's the other side of number one this is by Frank Miller number two number three and four classic Jim Lee art Number five, number seven, or number six, anyway. Number eight, again, I'm not too sure if this is the last one in the series, but anyway. So, um, yeah, that's, those are all my DC books from this haul. I think I bought too much this time, so, you know, I'm going to dial it back a bit. Anyway, I, I, I moved, I evolved, my collecting has evolved pretty fast. I think I'm at a stage where I just want to um, just save up enough money to buy um, really key issues instead of just buying it on all these, um, on all these uh, back issues. So I'm really going to dial back on the back issues, although I just did buy a few more books at a sale. So, hold on guys, let me just bring these out. So starting off, we have um, Silk, number one, number two, this is from her first series, not too bad, the storyline is not too bad, and moving on we have Spider-Man, I grew up, I collected comics um, back in the 90s and I grew up with this storyline, this was almost going into the whole clone saga story. And uh, you know, the, and there was, there was the age of foil, foil covers, but I always liked this cover anyway. And, uh, 57, 58. All the artwork is by this guy called Tom Lyle. I don't think he draws anymore, but yeah, he, was, he wasn't too bad. 59, 60. Here's a uh, Grand Pool number one by Scotty Young. Cute cover. Here's a nice um, Guardians of the Galaxy Kitty Pride cover, the Women of Power ver uh, variant. This is number six. I think the variant artist is uh, Sia Om. 
that's how you pronounce the name. Yep. Uh, one key issue I managed to get is Annihilation Conquest number six. This is supposedly the first, um, the modern appearance of Guardians of the Galaxy as you see them in the movie. So it's quite a key issue if you're into speculating for the movies. Another Women of Power issue here is uh, Spider Gwen number six. And I really, really like this cover. I remember scrambling all over the the country looking for it because it kind of like sold out but now it's you know going for a cheap price and all here are a few x23 books i managed to get they were from her second series this was the second series number 13 with spider-man on the cover this came in a batch of books so that's why i have three copies of this not all in the best of shape but anyway this is an awesome cover this is um, X-23 as Captain Universe. This is number 16. And number 17. This is just a loose copy of Avenging Spider-Man number 15 with artwork by Del Oro. Uh, showing you some amazing Spider-Man books. This is a J. Scott Campbell cover, number 34. Or issue 475. Uh, 509. The infamous since past storyline. This is uh, 521. And 539. Alright. So that's most of my books. And for the big books I'm now going to show you. Well, I was going to say... The Annihilation Conquest for that one, but since I accidentally showed you that one, I'm just going to show you my big book from this haul. Um, it's a big book because it's, a, it's an old issue and uh, it's not in the best of condition, but I thought, hey, why not just get it because it, you know, it was going for a, a good price at least. Detective Comics number uh, 361, really nice. Silver Age, I think, or is it Bronze Age? Bronze Age issue. Yes, a lot of issues with the spine, some ticks there, and you know it's it's quite tan, which doesn't lend very very well to grades. But I'm just glad to have a copy of this book. Anyway, so that's my haul, guys. Thanks for watching to the end. Um, I hope to have another haul video very soon. I'm waiting for an eBay purchase to come in in the next few days. See you guys.